welcome back to my channel where we're about that breaking cycles life guys it's sunday once again a very bleak sunday as you can tell by the video quality you know the sun is not out to give it the utmost beauty but um it's sunday you know it's sunday song spotlight and we have a nice song for you this week like it's a faith song right and uh, we didn't have any winners for Trivia Thursday this week, so we're just gonna write we're just going to head right into our Sunday song for this week. And this week our song for this week's spotlight is Believe for It by CC Winans. Guys, when I tell you about a faith booster, it's this song. I'm telling you, because when I first heard it, it was the it was the benefit concert um one hour long video that i heard it from so she actually gave the testimony in that video right and the testimony goes like this i'll tell you before we even go into the lyrics she said once <laughs> um her brother or some family member don't quote me go and watch it <laughs> um i think it was brother though was in the hospital he was ill like terminally ill and the doctors came out and pronounced him dead. And the doctor was like, not, and his father was like, no, 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 go back in and try again. <laughs> like, no, go back in, try again. Let's pray, first of all, you will go back in and uh, try again. And when the doctor went in again, he was restored. Like, can I tell you about faith, right? And... Uh, <laughs> That's the type of faith that I want to exercise in my life. It's scary sometimes to even get to even think of that. But trust me, even though it's scary, like the way you want something or you you want someone in your life, like just just as she did, just as her father did with her son, right? With his son. Like the way you crave the healing in someone, the way you crave um, just wanting a certain thing to come to pass, a certain promise. Like, it just makes you have that much faith. And trust me, even when my faith battery is low, guess which song brings me up most of the time? And it's this song, Believe For It. And uh, let's go into the lyrics, right, guys? It says, they say this mountain can't be moved, right? And I know just from the start of the song, you are, you are relating with it. Like, honestly, <laughs> that's why I don't talk. Like, you hear me say a lot of times on this channel, like, guys, God is working something, but I can't tell you right now. Because if you, <laughs> if you don't practice keeping silent in regards to what God is doing in your life, you will... <laughs> you will um invite doubting daughters and just every negative air and you don't need it like what i often tell people whenever i'm on a faith venture especially in regards to god's promises to me i'm like i have enough doubt for myself <laughs> i can't take someone else putting their doubts in me and trust me the moment i feel the negative energy or the doubts or anything I'm going to stay away from you it doesn't matter who you are honestly <laughs> I'm going to stay away from you and I'm just going to trust in God because he is the only one I know that I can argue with him and I can let out my emotions I, I can be emotional with him but at the end of the day I'm still trusting him that he is going to bring whatever he said to me to pass right because I've seen him done it, done it before. Like, why? Like, as much as I would doubt it now because, like, it's so hard to, to have faith. But at the end, I know it will be okay. So holding on by a thread is, is, is me, basically, <laughs> um, when it comes to faith, right? And if you are struggling with doubt, don't it doesn't matter who the person is remove yourself and just have doubt in your 
have doubts by yourself. Don't let anyone act, like confirm that in your life. Because while you're having doubts, the Holy Spirit is by your side trying to reassure you of his promise, reassure you of his, his love for you, right? And just, just stay, like, honestly, you don't need to, like, cut people off or anything of the sort, but just keep silent with the promise that God has given you. Honestly, it's, it's, it's key, especially if you are so worried, you're so doubtful. Keep it to yourself and trust to God even in the doubting. Like it doesn't really make sense, but it makes sense, right? Okay, let's get let's move on. It says they say this mountain can't be moved. They say these chains will never break. But they don't know you like we do. There is power in your name. Right? So that's what I'm saying. Keep silent to yourself because you have seen God's hand in your life, right? You have seen God's hand in your life. And you know that there is power in the name of Jesus. Try to filter out the negative, the negative comments, the negative energy, the negative everything. And in filtering out, that I do, you don't have to be like me. Maybe you're good enough to, to just bear everything and have them talking to you and still ignore them but for me honestly if it gets too much i'm literally going to just keep my distance from you because i can't take it i have enough doubts for myself and i need to even in the moment like even when i'm doubting i need to quickly get back into faith and it's through music right and I can't have anyone else trying to confirm the doubts that I'm already having. And I even fight it. Like, anytime the doubts come, I'm like, get the head sick on. Because my God is not a liar, right? And we should be reassured that there is power in the name of Jesus when it comes to what he's doing in our lives. It's not easy, but he will do it because there is power in the name of Jesus. And it goes on to verse 2. It says, we've heard that there is no way through. Again, doubt. We've heard the tide will never change. Doubt. (laughs) They haven't seen what you can do. Even if they've seen. Trust me. Even if people have seen it, they will still doubt it. And we have to get to the point where we erase these thoughts. We get it. We we totally eradicate it from our lives because we need to have faith we need to believe for it right um there is power in your name so much power in your name so that was verse one and verse two and then it goes on to the chorus it says move the unmovable break the unbreakable god we believe god we believe for it from the impossible we'll see a miracle God, we believe, we believe for it, right? And what usually restores my faith um, is honestly the stories in the Bible, especially Ezekiel 37. Like, no joke. If he can bring back dead bones, why can't he do this in my life? Why can't he do this in my life? Why can't he do that in my life? Like, honestly, (laughs) honestly, guys, with the amount of things that are currently happening in my life, like literally there is absolutely nothing else but faith that I can really rely on right now. And that is God. And this song, when I listen to it, it reminds me that there is power in the name of Jesus, right? And I'll say something at the end, but let's get through the lyrics first. It says, verse three, it says, we know that hope is never lost. For there is still an empty grave. God, we believe no matter what, there is power in your name. So much power in your name. And then it goes on to the bridge. It says, you are the way when there seems to be no way. We trust in you. God, you have the final say. And it's repeated in the chorus. And then just just go listen to this song. If you are feeling low right now, go listen to this song. Believe for it by C.C. Wynos. Because trust me. I know that faith is hard to exercise. Exhibit A. Okay. 
like hey guys when god brings his promises to pass in my life you guys will literally understand what i'm talking about in these videos right now that are being made like you won't even understand the level of faith that shanique is exercising right now right and <laughs> it's just I'm reminded oftentimes, like he reminds me of the stories in the Bible of how it was never easy for the Israelites to exercise faith, but God always provided for them. God always did what he needed to do for them. And the story that always gets to me is the story of Jesus himself. Like God reminds me, like goes, he literally sits me down and he's like, Shanique, remember that when i was on earth how i was feeling lonely he knows what depression is like right he knows what being alone is like he knows what being forsaken is like like honestly imagine the whole people who you love are so against you to the point that they're going to put you to death and he's just there taking it, taking it, and then your father in heaven is not answering you. Like, just imagine silence. Like, silence really gets to me. Like, I, I give silence too, but as in silence when there is absolutely, when I need you to speak, is, is like frustrating to me. And he reminds me, like Shanique, remember when I was on the cross, God was also not talking to me. And it's not to say that he, he was not there by my side, but he was silent. My father was silent, but I felt forsaken in that moment, right? And that's why he says, Father, fa Father, why have you forsaken me? Like he, he's felt that pain, but he held on to faith, right? And faith, you know what the driving force of faith is, guys? obedience and discipline because he said in the garden of Gethsemane he was like thy will not mine he didn't go after what he wanted he didn't because he felt like to give up uh, uh, you know how many times I feel to give up like literally give up I've told you guys that I've had suicidal thoughts like giving up was an option for me right but God here that right so it's but God right like giving up it's 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 a temptation right it's not from god to give up but you know jesus himself felt that but it was obedience that caused him to push further or push on in his quest to save our lives it was obedience so what i think we all need to ask god for is the gift of obedience and the gift of discipline because it was God's will not Jesus's will like Lord your will not mine that's what he said to his father your will not mine it was obedience and discipline that caused him to go to the cross right because honestly guys if you don't have obedience and discipline tied to faith it's so easy to, to succumb to the doubts, to succumb to the pressure, to just succumb to the pain and just give up and just lose it all. Give up in God, everything. It's obedience and discipline because regardless of what is happening around you, if you are obedient, if you are obedient, if you are disciplined, trust me, your faith will have roller coaster days. But obedience and discipline are constant, right? Your faith is roller coaster, like it's variable, it fluctuates. But obedience and discipline is constant. And once you have mastered discipline and obedience, it doesn't matter when your faith is on zero, empty, you can still continue because at one point it will get back to 100. And songs like these will definitely refuel you to take on another day with God, right? 
and that's just really what I want to share with you. I'm like, guys, faith is hard. Exhibit A. I'm not telling you that faith is easy. But if you are obedient to what God is telling you and disciplined in doing it, then it doesn't matter like when some of your days are bad, some of your days are good. Just be consistent with God and you'll see things start working out for you. Like, honestly, guys, I'm telling you because I'm living in it right now. Because I was even speaking to a friend last night. Um, I'm really chatting a lot today, but it's okay. <laughs> um, I was speaking to a friend last night, and I'm like, look at all the doors that God has closed in my life just for this one to open. And she's like, yes like every closed door i'm like i was fighting it so hard my faith was definitely on a roller coaster ride but god finally opened a door i'm like wow i never saw that coming right i really didn't see it coming and i'm so grateful to him that he did that right and he's opening other small doors but that that one was a great door to open and it was because even in <laughs> my roller coaster faith i still believe that he had something in store for me in this context right and it and yes my obedience and my discipline it, it really went out the door sometimes because of my anger and all of the sort. But honestly, God made sure that I was kept in his will. And that was because my prayer always was, Lord, your will, not mine. It doesn't matter how much I fight you because I know I will fight you. Because when things are rough, guys, trust me, I don't care about the will of God. <laughs> like I pray it. But my actions don't care. Like, my actions are like, I'm not, I'm not doing this anymore. But my prayer is always, God, still keep me in your will. And I'm grateful to him that he has answered that prayer, that specific prayer, to keep me in his will. And now, like, just seeing how he's orchestrating everything, wow. Just wow. Honestly, just wow. And I'm grateful to him. So I'm here to encourage you guys that just keep pressing on. And remember what are the two driving force for faith, discipline and obedience. And that's what we need to pray to God for. Discipline, obedience, and let me even add another third factor. Humility. To seek God's will. Humility and submission tied together. Honestly. And then it doesn't matter when your faith is low or not. When your faith is low, just listen to this song. <laughs> Believe for it. Just listen to this song. And listen to other faith, faith boosting songs. And you will be restored. Honestly, you will. But yeah, let me not take, your, take up too much of your time this week. Um, that is our devotional for this week. And please go and listen to this song. And please remember what I said in this video. Like, share, subscribe to this channel. Share this so that others can know that faith, faith is, is trying, but it's not impossible. You know, it's hard, but it's not impossible. So yeah, guys. Yeah. <laughs> this one really touched me. Go listen to this song. It's so powerful. And believe for what God can do in your life. Alright guys, so yeah, that's our devotional for this week. Bye, have a great day. Hey guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's encouragement and I hope you guys are ready for the day ahead. Now do me a favor and press that like button and subscribe button if you are new so that we can get more of this positive Christian content out into the world, okay? And I'll link my daily devotional playlist right here and my Let's Talk playlist if you want to tackle some social issues, okay? So have a great day guys. Bye-bye.